Hi there, Studio 4 families. I figured instead of sending you the usual email, we would go ahead and I just videotape everything, or record it at least. It would be easier this way. Uh, rough loss tonight at home, but I figured I would cover both my bases and <laughs> at least one of my teams would win. And I'm 50-50, so I'm good with that. Um, a couple of things for this week. We do have an early release on Friday, and grades will be released then also, which is really interesting at 4 o'clock. Just a reminder, grades are fluid, and they are live and updated regularly. We're also a good, good three weeks behind where we would have been, especially since kids had not really been in school since March, and we took a little extra time. So... There will be some grades in there, but just know that more are going in, especially as we finish out the first semester. So if you have any questions about that, ask we us. I also wanted to share that students will be taking an iReady growth monitoring this week in both reading and in math. And that would be the score that I would really look at and see the growth from when they first came in in September. You will be getting the actual growth um, diagnostic printout for both the reading and the math, and then we will go ahead and include the growth monitoring too, so that you should have some numbers to compare it to. Again, if it's hard to read or anything, just let us know. We'll try to highlight those numbers for you, but hopefully you'll see some growth. I would hope so because they've been doing such a great job with their goals. We have some really motivated students, so it's really students exciting. will actually have a reading fluency test on reading A to Z, and they will just actually read into their iPads and then we will go through and score it and just check their reading fluency to see how they're doing. So in their independent reading, it's really important sometimes if they read out loud so that they hear themselves and check for comprehension. If they have a pet, a younger brother or sister, even if they want to read to, well, like the bird we had in the classroom, out the window. It's really important because it will slow down their reading and they'll actually listen to what they're, they're reading and not just skip over the words. So that's another thing to look for. One thing we have seen an increase in is we've had more kids getting sick, um, be it the flu, be it um, a cold. Um, we've had kids out longer. We would really like to encourage you if your child has something other than the if gate, they have an option other than the gator mask, we would ask that you send that because what happens is they're constantly stretching them out, pulling them over their mouths. And then once they're stretched, they fall down and the kids just forget to pull them back up because they're sitting on their necks. And so those are the kiddos. And we hate to keep asking them all day, but it's like, can you please pull your mask up? Please pull your mask up. And they just forget because they're loose and they're off of their face. And so then when they get out of their seat, they don't have them up or it's just a constant reminder. And there are several kids that have those gator masks. And I know that they look really cool and it seems like a really good idea, but they just stretch out too much too fast. So um, that would be a great thing if you have an extra or a different kind of mask, just that they have to actually put over their ears. That would help support it. I even said, could you just cut the top of the gator mask and put it over? But the kids said that there are some that are even like that. So that would really help One us. One more out. quick thing to share with you is that um, before we have our virtual showcase next week, students are going to be working on their um, change maker reports and they're actually making journey boxes. And it's with, you've seen the cardboard boxes. I think they used probably in second grade. We're actually going to be making those into suitcases that will hold um, artifacts and um, report pieces that will represent their change maker. And they're going to take us on a journey to the state that they had where their change maker was from. So they might be asking you for bits of fabric or buttons or if you have any old belts or anything to make it look like an old piece of luggage. And then inside they'll put reports and print off pictures of their change maker and some interesting items um, or artifacts or information about that state. And then we're actually going to be making paper mache, I know. Paper mache they As love. always, thank you for sharing your kids with us. They are amazing. We're having the best year. I know it's crazy type of year, but um, we couldn't ask for greater kids. Actually, we're already like, can we just keep them for next year too? Thank you for your support. Thank you for your open communication. And here's to another great week.